What's crappin' the boys and girls? Danny here with Hollenbeck to Nowhere. I'm here with Meg Alpha, and we're gonna ride North Shore and just feel it out. I haven't been to Texas trails up and Dallas trails in a long time, so I'm gonna ride with her. You're, she's a Cat One racer, so hopefully I can keep up. I think I can, because your average speed is 11. Ish, yeah. 11 ish. <laughs> but we're not doing that today. So we're I didn't have any cookies, so I should be able to sugar. keep up. But first, coffee. coffee. Thank you, Top Tube. Cheers. Oh, memories. So we're on loop, loop. We're on loop one, right? Yeah. Loop one, North Shore. Where it all began for so many of us. Here in Grapevine, Texas. Hero dirt right now. Perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. It's going to dry out a little more, even better. Oh, here's that damn root. Oh! Oh! Got me. It's perfect. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Oh! Oh! The pain. You can't go through those tree, that tree gate with a lot of speed, so you have to kind of stop, pop, and drop. <laughs> drop was good. Yeah. That's awesome. North Shore in Grapevine, Texas is so good. Oh no, mud! Crikey! Good workout. Whew. What um, what do you prefer, just uh, uh, flats or clipless and why? And maybe kind of delve into your history with riding pedals. Oh man, so... Did, did you start out with flats? I started with flats, I did. I actually, before I started mountain biking or cycling, I was clipped in like on a spin bike. I did clip in before, but I started on the dirt on flats. And then probably a year or something, I transitioned to clipless. And- What was that first setup? Were they SPDs? <laughs> was Shimano SPDs? They were, yep, SPDs. SPDs. Yep. I only went back to flats one time um, at Spider Mountain and that's when I broke my uh, finger. So I probably will never go back to flats again. Because of the finger. Because of the finger. So oh, okay. I just, I think that I'm more comfortable on the clipless now and being locked into the bike. Uh -huh. um, sometimes I don't get unclipped and I still fall. <laughs> oh yeah, I think the little jump's here. Yeah. Yeah. Just the turns are so perfect right here. That's what makes it fun. It's drying out so nice. A little crack crossing. Oh yes! <laughs> I know. That is like honey on my ham. I love it. Oh. 
Oh, wow. Whoa, that thing got cut out. Oh, this one, my arch nemesis. All right, so you did the Rattler. Tell me about the Rattler race the down at Reveille, Reveille Peak Ranch. Yes, oh, is it Reveille? Yeah, I think that's what it said. Ah. Y'all leave a comment below and tell us, is it Reveille or Reveille? <laughs> yeah, so the Rattler was just a few days ago and it's uh, one of the Leadville qualifiers. I think there's like six different races that you can qualify for, for Leadville. So you either have to win your category to qualify or you can get in through the lottery so you have like a ticket and they pull your name and you got fourth i got fourth in my cat in my age cat and then i got seventh overall that's pretty good yeah and i had a probably the biggest bonk i've ever had but i'm just glad that i finished and it was a, it was a really good really good race really put on really well and i mean it was awesome cool all right awesome yeah. Cheers. I wonder how this is now. It's been a while. It's still meaty in all the right places. Oh, there's a little ledge now. I, I really enjoyed that. More than I should have. Oh! It's these damn flats. <laughs> this is a really tasty little line. Right at the beginning of the loop three. This is fast and flowy. Oh, this one, son of a gun. Come on. <laughs> it's been so long, my old friend. <laughs> it's just hero dirt right now. Perfect. Gonna make short use of the trail. It's just perfect conditions right now. Good techie flow. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Uh, this little tantalizing section oh it's been a while <laughs> oh my gosh it's changed what is your your most favorite food that you can wake up and eat probably pizza pizza <laughs> Pizza for the win. Oh man, yes. I could probably eat pizza. Sometimes. Are you a cold pizza? I will pizza? eat pizza cold. For sure, no problem. <laughs> That's breakfast pizza, it's cold pizza. <laughs> oh wow, this is all cut out. Oh no. I used to be so dark and yeah. mysterious. <laughs> They're cutting all these trees in this area. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo. Uh, yeah, haul ass through here. Got it. <laughs> the 
this is Meg's favorite. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh tree. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Next question is what kind of car would you have? Like any car in the world you would have that you could go get tomorrow, what would it be? Man. Just take take your time. Dang, that's hard. I would say uh that would be a car? I will be it anything, any vehicle that I you can drive. I would do a sprinter van all decked out, like a Van Do It or something. A Van Do It? Yeah. Those are good vans. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would do. Cause... Okay. Uh, van Do It, if you're watching. Yeah. <laughs> Meg's looking for a van. I like it. All right, thank you. <laughs> Everything's a little more rooted out since I've been here last. It is just cray cray. Okay, that was awesome to ride with Meg Alfie. Meg, is there anything you wanna plug yeah, before we go? Definitely, I just wanted to say, I just recently opened my women's healthcare practice here in DFW. I practice on a more functional and holistic base, so trying to help women just feel better um, for a healthier now and in the future. If you wanna come see me or have questions, don't, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm available and you can find me at alphawomenswellness.com. Yes, I love it. <laughs> come support Meg and, and her wellness program. Awesome, thank you so much. Thanks, Danny. All right, appreciate it. I'm out. Take care of yourselves. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, we're out. <laughs>